What's up everybody? Before you start watching this video, don't forget to look at our website. From resources to services, we have a lot of great content to check out. I noticed that some of you have already taken a sneak peek of our website. It's going to cover SAP, production, maintenance, work strategies, how to overcome obstacles within your company, and many more great resources. So check out our website and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to find out some of the latest projects our team is working on. Thanks for joining us and enjoy our video. What's up everybody and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to look up all the PMs task list in your plant or in your company using I808 yeah, which is change PMs task list. Um, you can use this transaction if you're a new uh, if you're like a new maintenance planner and you have an equipment and there's a similar equipment you just want to copy all the pm task list this would be a good transaction to look up the task list or if you just want to look at them other companies uh pm system and see how they're doing and stuff so i mean let's get it started so i mean here i got sap up and going i'm gonna put i808 enter and then here you want to click uh, functional location task list, equipment task list, uh, general task list, and then you want to put your plant number. So I'm gonna put my plant number. So I got my plant number, and then let's just delete this just just so it doesn't pull up other information. So once you have all those three check marks and you put your plant list, you can press execute. And then here you can see all the task lists for equipment. You can see right here on the side that some of them have equipment. You can see the description, pretty much the title, um, who created it, change on, um, and then created by, created on, equipment, function location, and so more. I mean, if you go to this little icon which says current, you can add more fields. So if you wanna pull different data, you can add those fields on there. Um, and then the cool thing about this is that you can also see other plants task list if they're all connected to your server. So, I mean, this task list is just for our plant, but if I go back and get rid of, uh, the plant number, so let's get rid of that. So I'm going to erase that and then press execute. Then we will see here, let it load up. Then we will see all the task lists for all the plants. Um, if you go here, you can see that I have different plants right here. This is our plant. And um, I mean, you can pretty much see all the plants that are in your server. I mean, let's say you want to look up a task list. So let's go for this one. You just click the description. Um, and then here's here's uh, some um, operation descriptions. You can click the long text. And then you can see the full description of what that um, task list is asking the technician to do. Um, but I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how you look up um, task list for your plan or any plan. Like I said, this is very useful for for a um, maintenance planner that wants to look at another similar equipment and another plant and um, don't have much time to create a PM from scratch. This is a good thing that you can just look up the um, description and then copy all that over to your new equipment um, but that's it but thanks for watching and I hope this helped you guys out and gave you a better understanding if you thought this video brought any value to you please click the like button and leave any comments that could help me improve my videos um, but also don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos there should be a link to them below in the description box um, if you have any questions on SAP, shoot me a text or leave a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer them to my best knowledge. Um, but once again, thank you for watching.